Okay, so registering as a bartender, um, we just got cut off as we were recording, so we'll just basically start off uh, and continue with where I was. Uh, so take a business for instance, uh, let's make this business a partnership which happens to have three members, uh, three partners, they all have membership interest. And let's base our particular attention to one member who has like 20% interest, just to basically paint a, a picture. And this member who has 20% interest, and you would maybe think that uh, when now the partnership wants to register as a back vendor because they assumedly uh, comply with all the requirements so now they have to register for that and he has a 20% interest so maybe he comes up with like an understanding of saying because he has a 20% interest in terms of the VAT uh, responsibility that he has as a member it only be accounted for the 20% interest as per the membership you know Basically, that does not work for VAT purposes. So, how it works is that if these guys are in a partnership, the three partners as a whole, they would not be separated in terms of uh, that interest being applicable to the VAT uh, registration uh, portion also being linked to their membership interests. That argument does not work for VAT for that purposes. How it would work in this instance is that all the three partners as a partnership would be taken as one and when the partnership registers as a VAT vendor, the whole partnership will be deemed to be a VAT vendor. So there is no separation in terms of linking the registration of the partnership to membership interests. That argument does not work in terms of registering a partnership, for instance. So there are different scenarios that you always have to be thinking about because that basically is applicable to anybody who basically qualifies within the requirements of one having to be a VAT vendor. We spoke about those requirements uh, basing the actual conversation more on the actual turnover of a million rents being realized in a particular year or the voluntary uh, 50,000 rents being you know the turnover that uh, someone would have and we also spoke about commercial accommodation uh, of 120 if it's so realized it also becomes voluntary registration for those that are in the commercial accommodation industry and there's also another principle that we also need to think about which is called regulation 446 regulation 446 basically states that uh, if you happen to incur a lot of startup costs for a business and you've incurred substantial costs in setting up the business and so forth and you have not as yet uh, generated turnover of more than 50,000 rents so that you would register on the voluntary registration part or the 1 million turnover which basically would allow you to register on a compulsory registration as per the VAT norm but you have not been able to to satisfy either one of those portions so far as the turnover part is concerned however you've you've incurred a lot of costs in setting up the business so SARS in that instance allows you to start basically uh, claim in VAT because you've incurred a lot of a lot of costs in setting up the business and you will likely 
in the future be able to to make you know turn over in excess of like you know the required amount for you to be a vet vendor including the voluntary uh, amount so far as the turnover portion is concerned so such a situation arises mostly in cases of a business that is slightly in the construction space or agricultural space or the mining space because costs in those industries tend to be quite substantial and SARS does make an exception in that situation for you to basically start claiming VAT for costs that would have been incurred in a situation where you're likely dealing with like a startup business basically so VAT is quite unique in that sense so you also have to always be conjuring as to where you are in terms of the requirements so a trust as well can register as a VAT vendor an individual as well can also register as a VAT vendor a company can register as a VAT vendor a CC can register as a VAT vendor so long as the requirements have been satisfied and those have been spoken about in the prior lessons that we've already touched base on. So the next part that we'll move over to is that one which we've termed different situations deemed to be one person. Basically what we are meaning is that let's maybe talk about um, Let's say you, you've got few companies that are registered as close corporations, basically. And you are very much aware that uh, once you exceed a turnover of 1 million rands, you'll have to register as a VAT vendor. And that's a compulsory registration that you can't run away from as opposed to the 50,000 ones optional voluntary registration that SARS gives you as an option to exercise if you so wish to. But now you get yourself in a situation where you've got, let's say, four close corporations. And these four uh, close corporations, you happen to be an astute accountant, you are a CA, and you've somehow generated money into this tomorrow.